nothing but love it. Well, I just have to tell you, it is wonderful to be with you. It's been a very, very, very long day here. We've done so much filming, it's unbelievable. So I hope that I can get my thoughts coherently round here. I wasn't going to film today, but we are, are not back in studio for quite a time. And um, the Lord has put a real burden on my heart. So. The guys are fantastic. They've come back and we've set up, we've reset up the, the program. I've tried to touch up my makeup a bit to look a little bit more alive. And, um, and I just want to just spend a few moments with you. And for those of you that don't struggle in this area and, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to deal today. The Lord woke me up in the morning. And you know me, I can only do word from heaven when he actually talks to me and gives me a direct word and a, a burden for you. And I wouldn't be here today, especially after this day, if, if he hadn't. But he woke me up at about three or four in the morning. And, um, and I touched on it in the, uh, behind the screens over Thanksgiving with Rory. Um, but what he said was, he said two words. He said displacement and he said depression. And then he said Thanksgiving. And what the Lord said to me was, he said that there are um, some of you out there. In fact, there are... There are several, not, not just some, but there are several of you, I don't want to say many, but several of you out there who have been displaced in many, many areas of your life in the past year, in the past 12 months. And the Lord said that because of the displacement in some areas of your life, that it had caused some of you great depression. This is for some of you who are not normally um, depressed people. For some of you, you don't normally suffer depression, but for the first time in your lives, you have suffered this terrible, terrible depression. And the Lord said that it is because of displacement. And um, I, I, I just wanted to share just a few, uh, just two stories with you, um, just before we go in. Um, the Lord said to me, just to remind you that firstly, it is nothing to be ashamed of if you are depressed today, if you are watching this and you've been depressed, you know, often in our society, it's just not politically correct, especially in the church and especially as Christians. And the, the, the people that the Lord has picked out, that he burdened me with, that he gave me a direct word for today, are Christians, are his children who have been suffering severe depression. Now, as I said in our behind the screens, um, that for some people, um, it was a chemical, it, it is a chemical imbalance. And for those of you, if you are one who, um, you know, this is not a new thing that you've struggled with depression all your life, please don't switch off either because the Lord loves you so much. And we are going to deal with depression in these next few programs because it's a real, been a real burden of the Lord. Um, but the Lord just reminded me of a story. I, I don't think I've ever told this story on TV and it was just when I was, um, depression can strike anyone, even and people, some people hide it very, very well because we're taught to mask it. And um, this person wasn't a Christian, but when I was about, when I was a very young Christian, I was about 22, I think. And I went out from South Africa with a church group, um, with Rayma, and we were in the hotel in Tel Aviv. And because I'd been brought up on movies, old movies, you know, with my mom loved movies, I knew all sort of the old film stars. And I was at breakfast, um, really on fire for the Lord, at Tel Aviv having breakfast. And I turned around and to my right, and a lot of you may know who he is, and um, to my right, I knew that it was Robert Mitchum, okay, the American actor. I just knew in Tel Aviv that that is Robert Mitchum because of my mom. So, so I went over and of course I was witnessing to everyone as a young Christian in those stages. So I looked at him and I said, I know who you are, you're Robert Mitchum. And he looked at me and he said, and who are you? So I said, I love Jesus. You know, I'm a, I'm a Christian and I love Jesus. And anyway, because um, I was saying, he was, he, I think he was in his 60s. And you know what, we just hit up a little friendship for those next few days. We were only there for about three days. And we had um, every breakfast, we spent some time together and we had several conversations. And you know what Robert Mitchum said to me, he was filming, I think they were filming War and Remembrance there. And he said to me, Wendy, he said, you know, no one really would ever know this. But he said, I have, I have been in such deep, deep depression. He said, I sit in my hotel room while, you know, while they were filming, as soon as we finished filming. And he said, I feel like I don't want to live. 
And before we left, you know, I was a very young prophetic in that time. But the Lord, you know, wrote out my son and the Lord just, and I know, you know, because we had struck up a friendship and and, and, and he, he grew to, to trust me. He knew that I wasn't a flake. And I know he would have read it. And I was so happy and so blessed that um, before he died, I remember reading an article where um, he, ca- he, was a, he, he, he came back to Catholicism, but I knew reading that, that he had come back to God. And that, that really, really blessed me. But the Lord wanted me to bring up that story because you look at someone like Robert Mitchum and you know everyone else, when I met him, you know, he was, you would never ever have guessed that this man was feeling suicidal and had been on the verge of just not wanting to live. He had everything going for him at that time, but but that was just something that he had to cope with. And so, um, and so, and so, what? We haven't got many minutes left on this program. We'll have to go into the the next week as well. And I, I, I myself, yes, we all, you know, we have lots of stress, all of us in our lives, and as visionaries, we do. But I've never, I never had been in that place where I actually felt depression or depressed. But because I'm getting older, okay, verging on menopause now, okay, hormones and things like that. And what happened is that a few weeks ago, um, I was I was given some, um, just just I went to the naturopath and he gave me something that was a hormone that actually it actually it it just threw me right off course. And for four days, I I, I have never. I mean, I, I I was fine before that. I I felt that I didn't want to live. I have. I have never felt like that in my whole life. It affected my hormones, so it was hormonal. And I, I, I remember sinking and feeling this flat and nothing, nothing. I felt as though I would be there forever. And I knew that if I was there forever, and I was just crying on the Lord for his mercy, because I didn't know until I went back to the naturopath what was wrong. He took me off straight away. and. Um, I had no idea what was wrong and I didn't know how to get out of it. And the Lord spoke to me in that time because you don't understand until you feel like that, what it can be to feel like that. And the Lord said to me, Wendy, there are people, my people who I love, my children who love me and serve me, who feel like this, like they are drowning every day of their lives. They get up every day and they feel like that. Now at the same time, just so you understand, and the Lord started speaking to me about displacement. He said also why I was more vulnerable. He said, um, uh, because because we had moved, I'll just tell you my story. We'd mo- you know, normally for me to move, we've moved a lot. I, I never have a problem with it. I bounce back, settle easily, and I've never felt displaced when we move. We moved from Cornwall and I loved Cornwall and it was um, the first house we'd sort of owned in England for years since we lost our other and I love my house and I really didn't want to move but I knew in God that we had to move. So it was a great displacement this time for me to move from England back to America. I'd been totally settled in Virginia. I adored Virginia. We'd lived there for three years before but this time we just really couldn't afford to live in Virginia at this time and we had other things to do so we were we sort of stayed in Washington DC for just a few months and then we had to move again and we moved to the Midwest and normally I'm fine and in a move of God and I, and I settle but you know I started to wake up every morning like maybe some of you displaced in other areas of your life and I just something was wrong I felt like I was not in the will of God. I felt like, although I was, I felt like I was displaced. I felt like everything was wrong. I, we, were, they were, we closed on this week, actually yesterday, on our house in Cornwall. And you can see me, I'm fine now, I'm really fine. And this is such a deliverance for me. But I was, I was wanting to cry, I was weepy. I was feeling that um, I just want to go back to England. I felt as though something had, I was so displaced um, which was, you know, which was leading to um, just feeling more, not like my normal self. I felt like I couldn't bounce back from it. Okay, I don't have much time left on this program. Um, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to start carry on with this story ne- in the next program. But what I want you to know is, I want you to know that if you are feeling displaced today, if you if if you have been feeling de- depressed, and a lot of it is from some kind of displacement in your life, the Lord said there's roots to the depression. 
And he said, if you are feeling displaced, uh, displaced, I'm going to continue sharing my story in the next programs. I want you to know that there is mercy for you and there is grace for you. And God is not going to leave you alone. I don't mind, you know, and, and I know for some of you, God said, some of you have been in this place for months and months and months, and it doesn't matter how long you have been in this place, there is deliverance for you. There is a breakthrough for you. The devil is the one who will lie to you and say, you're never going to feel different. But I promise you on the word of the Lord, the father is going to come right into your situation and he will change it for you. So I'm, we've run out of time this week. I'm going to, I'm I'm going to see you on the next program and I'm going to continue sharing what happened to me, a little bit of what happened to me. And we are going to pray for you and you just keep hope in this week, in the next few days. You keep hope the Lord hasn't forgotten you, that he understands you're depressed and he's going to come reach out his strong right hand and come and deliver you and you will have joy again. God bless you. See you next program.